so we have more function problem here so given h of x is equal to 5x minus 6 all over 3 now they want us to determine what is h of 3 so to do this we put in h of 3 is equal to whenever there is an x we replace it with 3 so 5 times 3 minus 6 all over 3 so 5 times 3 is 15 minus 6 all over 3 and this is equal to 15 minus 6 is 9 all over 3 or 9 over 3 is 3 answer so next one let let f of x is equal to 3x squared minus x plus 5 find f of x plus 1 so it's the same problem so we find f of x plus 1 is equal to whenever there's an x re replace natin siya ng x plus 1 so we have a 3 tapos x so x plus 1 x plus 1 now it is a squared so it means 2 times so one more x plus 1 minus so isa pang x dito so x plus 1 and then plus 5 so we have a 3 x times x is x squared x times 1 is x 1 times x is an x plus 1 times 1 is a 1 so we distribute this minus sign minus x minus 1 plus 5 so is equal to x squared so combine like terms x plus x is 2x plus 1 minus x minus 1 and a plus 5 is a plus 4 so we distribute this 3 so 3 times x squared is 3x squared 3 times 2x is 6x 3 times 1 is a 3 minus x plus 4 so we combine like terms so we have a 3x squared so 6x minus an x is a 5x plus 3 plus 4 is a plus 7 so this is your answer so next question which of the following expressions expressions the total num the total earnings e as a function of the number n or the number of days if a laborer works and earning 400 pesos per day which of the following expressions the total earnings e as a function of the number n of days if a laborer works and earning 400 pesos per day so let's see a e of n is equal to 400 plus n or b a of n is equal to 400 minus n or c e of n is equal to 400 times n or d a of n is equal to 400 minus n so um ito gagawin natin so e is the um function right the earning so um and then n is the number of days. So 400 yung sweldo niya kada araw. Now, kailangan natin yun 8 times yung 400 times yung kung ilang araw siya nagtrabaho, which is n. So, answer is C. Kasi ito yung um, equation na magbibigay sa kanya ng sweldo niya sa kung ilang araw siya nagtrabaho. So, A of N is equal to 400 times 
n. I-multiply natin. So, 400 times yung kung ilang araw siya nagtrabaho. So, answer is C. So, the next next um, problem. If the temperature in degrees Celsius inside the earth is represented by T of D is equal to 10D plus 20, where D is the depth in kilometers. What is the temperature inside the earth in 10 kilometers? So, binagay sa atin yung functions T of D is equal to 10D plus 20. So, T of D is equal to 10D plus 20. So, tinatanong nila kapag ilang ano yung temperature kapag 10 kilometers. So, we just simply T of 10 is equal to 10 times 10 plus 20. So, 10 times 10, 100 plus 20. So, it's equal to 100 plus 20 is 120 degrees Celsius. So, express the perimeter of a square with side x as a function of, eight of, of its area. So, ang equation ng perimeter of a square, um, P is equal to um, 4A. So, um, kapag i ano na, so, isolate natin yung A over 4. Now, this is also over 4. So, we have P over 4. Wait, anak ko, ato, magtatrabaho pa tayo. Of A. Now, it's a function. So, um, over, tapos it, it, it's a square. So, we have to square this. Anak ko, nakikialam ka. So, this is, um, So, P, A is equal to P squared. 4 squared is um, 16. Naku! Hindi na makikita ito na ate mo. Wait a nag. Uh, a few more um, problems, okay? So, ito pa. Kota National High School has 1, 2 students enrolled in 2016 and 1, 5 students in 2019. The student's population P grows as a linear function of time T. Where T is the number of years after 2016. Mama. Which of the following okay, functions represents the student's population that relates to time T? It's hot. It's hot. You don't need that one. So, um, so in 2016, mayroong 1, 2 na students. Tapos noong 2019, mayroong 1, 5. So, 100 students ang nadagdag every year. So, 100. Kasi, noong 2016 is 1, 2. And then, noong 20. 17, 1, 3, 2018, 1, 1, 4, and then 2019, 1, 5. So, ito yung kanilang rate, 100. Um, 100 ang nadadagdag every year. So, so ito, na, ito yung kanilang Pagpipilian. P of T is equal to 100T plus 1,2. P of T is equal to 1,2T minus 100. Or P of T is equal to 1,2 plus 100. Or D, P of T is equal to 1,2. So, ang um, equation dito is yung A. Okay. Okay, just wait a moment please. Mom is working. Ang... Um, Ano dito, yung equation is yung A. Kasi 100 ang nadadagdag every year. T is the number of year after 2016. 
plus yung original na population noong 2016 which is 1,200. So the answer to this problem is letter A. Okay, okay push. It's A. Okay, that one is done. So mayroon pang isang question. How many students will be enrolled in Cotton National High School by 2020? So, gawin natin ito. So, alam na natin yung equation, which is P of T is equal to 1. P of T is equal to 100. Ito yung yearly na nadadagdag T. Plus yung original na population, which is 1, 2. So, ilan nga ba after 2020? So, itong 1, 2 since 2016. So, ilang years um, from 2020 to 20, um, 2016 to 2020, that's 4 years. So, our T is equal to 4. So, P of 4 is equal to 100 times 4 plus yung original na population which is 2. So, 100 times 4 is 400 plus 1, 2. So, it's equal to 400 plus 1, 2 is 1, 6. So, ito yung answer. Sorry sa mga interruptions ng aking mga anak. <laughs>